Hey guys, Mike Corrado here. I got a really cool request from one of my students. Uh, it is Scarlet Begonias. Now, Scarlet Begonias is going to be in the key of B. And the coolest thing is you have all major chords. There's only four of them in the entire song. So it really comes down to how you're going to arrange, uh, arrange each part with those chords uh, to be able to make it so you can play those four chords all over the whole guitar without worrying because you know how each part goes. So the verse is going to be holding on the B for the little intro with a little riff. We'll go over that later. When the verse starts, look at an E, okay, and then back to B, then E, and back to B, and here comes an A, and then E, B, A, then hold the E, then A, E, B, A, E, back to the B. So that entire section only had a B, an E, and an A. You could play the B, E, A here, which is where I played a lot. Or you could play the B on a fifth string root. And you can play uh, your E as an open chord. You can even end up with an A as an open chord here, no problem. So let's just say we're going to be doing it right down in this section here. When the verse starts singing, and you're like, you know, already doing a little jam on a B, the verse comes in on that E. So it's like, I was walking down Governor Square B. Here comes E. In the wind and the chill to the air, B. Here comes the A. E, B, A, E, A, E, B, A, E, back to the B. E, 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 e B. So a lot of E, B, a couple times through. Then comes A, E, B. that time uh, you're in the, the the scale of B mixolydian and a really cool way of playing it uh, in, in a jazzier scale not looking so much like a blue scale um, is to really let every finger own its own fret so I'm gonna let, have my middle finger right on that B bass note okay. now as I go through I'm gonna listen for do re mi's but the very last note like do re mi fa so la ti do that note's gonna be flat so it's going to sound like this. And I get to another B there. Okay. Now you can rewind the video and play it yourself and make sure it sounds like that. And here comes the middle B to the high B. Now you can see what happened there at the very end. I, I slid one finger up. My whole wrist went up. It's like, oh no, I had to go all the way up to an extra fret. Well, I ended up on the B note here, so I had the entire scale. Okay. So there's that B mixolydian scale. And that's where this um, melody comes from, where it's like... solo, you know, when they hit the E chord, and then the B, E, to the B, A, E, B, A, to the E, A, to the E, B, so you can like noodle around that all day long. Uh, the only other section of the song is... It goes on to the F sharp. Now, if you want to do an F sharp all the way up here, you can. It's no problem. Uh, I usually like to go to the lower F sharp. So all of a sudden, uh, when it gets there, it's like uh, F sharp, B, A, E. Hold the E. Second half of that is F sharp, B, A, E. F sharp. Keeps going up, A, B, stays here. Now you're back to the verse, E, to the B. So I'll go over that uh, part two. Uh, there's really only two parts. But inside of that part two, or section two, whatever you want to call it, there are 
two halves to it. So the first half is F sharp. Um, ain't nothing wrong. I've never been from B to the A to the E. Here's the second part. F sharp line. B to the A to the E. F sharp. A. B. Now you're all in that mixolydian. Practice that scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, flat seven. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, flat seven. Your hand, you know, your fingers own those frets. At the very end, there's a slight adjustment, but, you know, work it out with your own hand. Uh, you know, try stuff, but use your ear, listen to the scale. And that, my friends, is Scarlet Begonias. If you're interested in private lessons, Mike at MikeCarradoMusic.com is my email. I already have Grateful Dead students um, every week signed up. It's working out great. And um, I've been teaching for 20 years. So please hit me up and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Thanks for listening.